You know, if they ever make a sequel to Passion of the Christ, I think that Paul Rudd should be in it. They let me go early. Yeah, I won most cooperative inmate, four months running. God, Ned just showed up. You said your door was always open. Our Idiot Brother stars Paul Rudd, Elizabeth Banks, Zoe Deschanel, and Emily Mortimer. It's the story of this guy played by Paul Rudd who's just like the most innocent, carefree, kind man you could possibly think of. I mean, he literally does not have a bad thought towards anyone. Even people who do him wrong, he's, he's like, he always finds the beauty and the goodness in them. He thinks that there is real beauty in everyone and that if you just treat everyone you know, in a really good way, even if they treat you wrong, that the goodness will shine through and that good things will happen to you. At the same time, however, he doesn't really have a job, he doesn't really work, and he's kind of living off of his family. His three sisters are the main female leads in this film, and he kind of goes in between them and his mom, and, and he's trying to find a place to live, and, and he keeps causing problems because he's just so nice that he doesn't realize that he causes a lot of problems. Well, I gotta get back to work on the tumion. The what? It's a cross-pollination between a tomato and onion. Think of the time it'll save when you're making spaghetti sauce. I really like Paul Rudd. I've liked him in everything I've seen, and he's really the heart of this movie. He, his character is just so fun to watch because, and actually a little bit inspiring actually, because I was watching the movie and I was thinking, man, I wish I could respond that way to people sometimes. Because people say stuff to him and do stuff wrong to him, and he's just like, eh, man, it's all right, you know, whatever, who cares? I need to be more like that character where I'm just like, you know, whatever, just let it pass. And the three sisters are all really good. Zoe Deschanel, Elizabeth Banks, and Emily Mortimer all create a really realistic family. Uh, with Paul Rudd included, I really felt like they were family. I mean, they did a great job. They all had great chemistry with each other. Also, Adam Scott, or me, as a lot of people have been saying, apparently I look like him. I, I don't know. I, whatever. He's pretty good in this movie, too. He never wanted him here. Filling the kids' heads with stupidity. Check it out. Can't one of you just take him, please? What's wrong with my sister? She's pretty, but she's bossy. Tell me exactly what he said. He said that your personality gets in the way of your looks. Your very good looks. Dude. Do you have Tourette's? Steve Coogan is in this movie and it's a completely non-comedic role. His character is like really loathsome and you don't like him at all. There's really no comedy in his role, so people who are fans of his comedy might be disappointed by his role in this movie. Also, the cameraman from Cloverfield, TJ Miller, is in this film, and he was pretty funny. I liked his character a lot too. Him and Paul Rudd worked really well with each other. Now there are some flaws I have with this film, and my main ones really is that it's just really not that funny. I mean, there are definitely some humorous parts. And overall, it's an enjoyable film to watch, but it's not really a laugh-out-loud comedy at all. At times, it can drag a little bit. The story wasn't terribly interesting, and because of the juvenile nature of Paul Rudd's character, at times the film kind of felt that way, too. You know, I try and do good, but I just screw it up. On top of it all, I broke down and smoked with the kid that lives across the street from me. Okay, I didn't just hear that. I said I broke down, I went and smoked with the kid that lives across the street from me. You don't tell your parole officer that you just got high. Oh, man. So basically, this film is a really fun movie to watch. Paul Rudd's really good. All of his sisters are good. They all work well with each other and they feel believable. But it's just nothing really that special. It's sort of just a, I'm going to sit back and watch this movie. It'd be a good rental maybe for like a rainy day just to watch it with some friends. So I'm going to give Our Idiot Brother a B. If you like this review, you can subscribe to my channel and get stuckmanized.